from your Chapter 20 folder. Open the file Chapter 2003 Walkthroughs. Creating a walkthrough can be a fairly simple task. From the View tab, click underneath 3D View to create a walkthrough. Here we can create a path. We can specify the type of view that we're looking at, offset from the level, and here we're looking at level 3. We can create this path by clicking, and as we click the path, we create a spline. This is the path along which the camera is going to move. Once complete, we can click on Finish Walkthrough. We can then edit the walkthrough and position the camera at different keyframes. As we position the camera along the keyframes, indicated by the red spots, we can rotate the camera to focus on different objects. You'll notice that dragging it to the next keyframe, it takes up the original orientation. We can adjust the length or depth of view that the camera sees. And we do this for each keyframe. Once complete, we can take a look at the walkthrough in the project browser. Selecting the walkthrough viewport boundary, we can edit the walkthrough and look at individual frames. And if necessary, step through each one. Or go to the next keyframe. This is the opportunity to spend a huge amount of time perfecting your walkthrough. But this can be rewarding and it can be used for different purposes. We could create it for a presentation or as a walkthrough for engineers so they can take a look at how their design actually looks. When we've finalized the path and the camera angles, we can export the animation out to a file. Here we can specify what frames we want to export, the visual style, and whether we want to include a time and date stamp. Click on OK, and this then saves the walkthrough. Choose whether we want to have this full frame uncompressed or a specific compression method. Click on OK and Revit steps through the process. You can see this going on on the screen at the moment. And I've included two walkthroughs in the Chapter 20 folder. Luckily, the image that you see as a preview as that walkthrough was being exported bears no relation to the actual video that you'll find on the DVD. Paths and camera angles can be adjusted not just in a horizontal plane, but also vertically. If you get the time, play with it. You can get some great animations out of this program. But beware, in the time that it's taken me to produce this few minute video, I've spent nearly two hours. When creating walkthroughs, time just disappears.